Hello, my name is Tomasz and I would like to share with you my uh, experience on how to disassemble or dismantle the grip from Electrolux Beam vacuum cleaner actually. I had a need to do that because uh, my uh, grip fall apart actually and break so I wanted to glue it so it can continue to function very well. What you really need for uh, this workout is that you may have uh, flat screwdrivers, you definitely need to have the Torx T10 size and then you have to start with your work. The first thing, you have to be very careful, you are starting with pulling back the plastic part from your grip. The first thing you have to do is that you Pull the upper part by your screwdriver or some kind of wedge and I would recommend you to start with the upper part than the lower one because the upper part has a stronger wedge than the bottom ones that can easily break which I'm sharing with you because mine has broken as I started in the wrong one due to the missing instruction. Well, once you pull that part off. You will find a place in the upper part for the grip where there are two screws that you will have to unscrew. Once you do that, your upper part of the grip will be able to disassemble from the main part, which is <coughs> really having the, the long tube. So this is the most important part. In my case, the need was really that uh, I had to disassemble the upper part from the grip, from the part that you put into your hand. Well, if you are in a need for that, please know that you don't have to really pull that strong or do anything. You just have to Put your wedge inside this place, unlock this part first, be careful, there are hooks there, that means you have to make it, uh, if I can make them move you right, in that direction, yes, you have to use a little bit force there, so this wedge is unlocked first, then you move it that way, and then you will meet one screw that is really fitting inside the upper cover for the grip. So this is quite a side message, but you may need that. Of course, once you will uh, open that uh, upper part, the buttons and the spring will fall apart. So make sure you collect them easily in one place. You may like to know that uh, there is actually the sliding part, which is driving the electricity towards the pipe in that two places. So that two electrical connections, connectors are slicing on this, on these rotary places on the long pipe. If you want to really um, take off the, the pipe from the grip, I may recommend you first to unscrew the upper part for this cover which is sitting there uh, once you unscrew once you unscrew this one this one is getting a little bit loose but still sitting there so you see there are some two edges that are sitting there what you have to really do is a little bit squeeze that by your hands then you can gently pull it from that place out. Then you will meet this electrical part which is sitting here mounted by these two screws because those connectors are a little bit springy please be careful because it will uh, jump a little bit once you will open that case. What is happening here is that uh, this pipe is plugged in here and kept there by the two edges. Those two wedges are in a very smart way entered 
by the designer over here. Well, what I really did when I uncovered this place, I put the screwdriver there inside and I pushed back from inside. So this locker moves out. It was still not the best method because I could kind of damage the, the ending. Well, probably next time I will try because now I know <laughs> that I can really push in this place hard. So the upper place will jump out. It may not work, but you can try. I will try my next time. So please make sure if you are in my position and your cover with electricity is open, you can of course use the screwdriver or any kind of flat and rigid place, put it there and push back so it can really jump out from from the locking place well in this movie you really meet the part already disassembly or dismantle whatever you call it uh, but yes it will help you to prevent from breakage uh, which i didn't meet so i really break the lower part for this upper case probably i have to put a tape to, to or some glue to to make it happen backwards but I wish anybody else is uh, having that movie to help uh, for this assembly of this part. I, I'm really also sharing this one because now anyway I'm going to buy a new one for premium money. But I want to keep it in my shelf just in case that uh, the electronics are dead. And then I want at least to know how do I plug in the, the new part because it is really tough to get any message or to find any message on the on the internet how do i connect the new one so if you like the movie likes are most welcome take care there guys